Uh, people today looking into the future see a pretty grim pic picture ahead. I look at the evening news, for example, on television. There are reports of storms and tornadoes. It's weather we're not used to. And it looks like there's more of it ahead. Uh, there's political instability in our own country and throughout the world. There are trade wars and real wars. There are school shootings and stories of domestic violence that's shocking. Not much good news. <laughs> you know the picture. But look at our second reading today from the book of Revelations. I, John, saw a new heaven and a new earth. The former heaven and the former earth have passed away. The sea was no more. I also saw the holy city, a new Jerusalem, coming down from heaven, prepared as a bride, adorned for her husband. I heard a loud cry from the throne saying, Behold, God's dwelling is with the human race. He will dwell with them. They will be his people. God himself will always be with them as their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes and there shall be no more death, nor mourning, or wailing, or pain. And the old order has passed away. The one who sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. What should we make of that reading? A new heaven and a new earth. A promise of a city in celebration. God dwelling with us, wiping away every tear from our eyes. No more death or mourning or, or pain. That's a complete reversal of the evening news, isn't it? And is it unreal? The first thing to take from this reading is that God promises good things ahead. We see the origin of this promise in the resurrection of Jesus. The resurrection of Jesus is more than the resurrection of one person. It's the promise of good things for our world. So no matter how difficult it seems to be ahead, we have to keep God's promise in mind. No matter how grim the picture is, we have to keep working for the good of this world, doing everything we can, especially keeping hope alive. We're not looking at an impossible dream. We're looking at God's dream. The Easter season is a time of hope. Hope for ourselves personally, hope for our world. God isn't finished yet. God has promised a new heaven and a new earth. We have to believe in God.